Lewis or Compton. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins this evening. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone, for the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Psalm 91, it's found on page 720 in the Anglican Prayer Book, Psalm 91, and we read the first five verses. And we offer the psalm in the awareness that many of us are dealing with great anxiety, great uncertainty. And we often think that we're the only ones experiencing this and maybe the sharing and spreading that awareness we could also as we are able reach out to each other and use all the means at our, at our, uh, at our available to us to contact each other. So Psalm 91 He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High who abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He will say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the destroying curse. He will cover you with his wings and you will be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness will be your shield and defense. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, or of the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that walks about in darkness, or the plague that destroys at noonday. A thousand may fall beside you, and ten thousand at your right hand, but you it shall not touch. My own eyes shall say, and look on the reward of the ungodly. The Lord himself is our refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. I repeat again this very powerful section of the Psalm, verse 4. 
He will cover you with his wings and you will be safe under God's feathers and God's faithfulness will be our shield and our defense. Feathers of angels, the wings of God of faith and his defense. I share with you the prayer that's attached and I use the daily prayer from the Book of Common Prayer of the Church of England. You, O Lord, shall be exalted forevermore. Give us the music of your praise, Lord, morning, noon, and night, that our lives may be fruitful and our lips confess you as the true and only God. Amen. And so we say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come unto you. And so we light the candle of intent as we firstly give thanks to God for the operation uh, that Walter Lee recovered from in the course of this day. Understand that doctors are delighted with his progress, and there's even talk that he might be able to be given the therapy for to be able to walk later this week. So, Walter, that's great news, and I'm sure that he really is equally, if probably not more, delighted than you are. It's often the case, eh? The, the ones who are, uh, are traveling are not as concerned as the ones who remain at home and in all other areas of life that we are afflicted. afflicted. We also pray for Ida Barton and remember Bob Barton also, uh, pure leaflets and all other matters that need editing. Thank you, Bob, and we thank God for your ministry. We also continue to pray for John Thompson and for Tika. John recovers from his bout of hospitalization. And we continue to pray for young Tameka Lievendal, where she is recovering in the hospital. We continue also to remember our loved ones at home, in the old age homes and the lady Christian home and other places in our city. We also continue to pray for Angelique Yevo, as we also pray for our mom, Lily and George. Also pray for Zuhaira Nordin. And so we hold up these names of the persons that we've mentioned. We also pray for ourselves this night in all the ways that we see God's blessing upon us. Lord, we pray especially for Zuhaira and for Angelique. You know their needs and their concern. We pray that they will know the assurance of your comforting presence and that your faithfulness will be their shield and that they will be under your protecting feathers, that you will gather them to your being and as a mother hen draws together a brood of chicks. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. 
wieder auf Köln. Be a light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. O oh dear Lord, keep watch with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Father, we ask you to tend the sick, give rest to the weary and bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted and shield the joyous and all for your love's sake. Amen. And so, the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, bless you this night, now and forevermore. Amen. We uh, close our evening compline with one of those lovely songs of Yo-Yo Ma from his collection of music dedicated to us and people like us in times such as these yeah where we are in the world wide world all over yo yo ma and one of his songs of comfort <laughs> 